Hello, friends. <laughs> I don't know if anyone will be watching this, but about to um, record a video. Um, yeah, Jesus, I just invite you. Jesus, I ask that you would use this for your glory. May you speak, if you want to speak something, speak something, Lord. May you touch anyone that's listening or will be listening. And um, may it be your words, Lord. And Jesus, I thank you that you're here. May you receive all the glory and the, all the honor. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Um, felt to record a video. <laughs> well, actually, um, it was inspired by someone, but, um, yeah, um, well, the way things are going now in the world and that we can see a lot of, um, uprising, a lot of <laughs> intense things going on. Um, they're actually just like, this is kind of the beginning of it or we're, we're entering into something very uh um intense and in that um it's the second coming of jesus it's prophesied in the bible that all these um calamities will happen and earthquakes and natural disasters and wars and rumors of wars and that um as christians we shouldn't be surprised but for those that maybe don't know jesus yet um we can have hope that um, there is hope in one name and it's the, it's the name of Jesus and that um, no matter what happens here on earth whether in life or in death that he is worthy and um, there's only there's only one name under whom we can be saved and through Jesus that Jesus is the only way to God the Father and that salvation is only found in, in the name of Jesus um, and uh, yeah, we can have hope in that. We don't have to fear the future. We don't have to be afraid of what will happen to our children or um, our lives. Um, we can have hope that Jesus has us. <laughs> he, he can have us in his hand and that um, we can choose to follow him. And it's an honor to follow him. It's not um, this like duty based and he's not a taskmaster, but he wants relationship with each and every one of us. And um we're all fallen, like we, we're all in need of Savior. And um, Romans 3, 23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. In that we all need a Savior. We all need Jesus. We're all broken and fallen human beings. And that I sin every day. I need Jesus every day. And I need to repent. <laughs> um, I'm in need of him every single day. And um, yeah. He offers forgiveness. Only he can forgive. And um, like a child, you don't have to teach it to sin. You don't have to teach it to do wrong. But it, it comes naturally to us from birth. So, yeah. And Jesus, he can. He transforms. He saves lives. And he calls us to die to ourselves every day and to, to take up our cross. But it's a life that is worthy. It's, it's a life that we can't muster up ourselves like it's it's in the grace of god and that he offers us a better life well a life with him apart from him man i, I can't do anything apart from him and <laughs> um yeah it's I, I can't function without the lord <laughs> um so yeah and not only do we have assurance of salvation in jesus that if we if we follow him if we, if we receive him as our personal lord and savior that not only do we have salvation when we depart from this earth and in heaven we'll be with him forever, but that here on earth we can have fellowship with him, we can have communion with him, we can um, get to know him, we get we get to experience him and enjoy him. And um, he chisels us and forms us into his image, um, into the image of Christ, into the image of Jesus. And um, it's not it's not it's not a cakewalk like it's not going to be an easy life but it's it's a life that's it's so much better than what 
if I just live myself or if I just live for myself, like he offers us a better life, a meaningful life. Um, life is found in him. He, Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. And I just want to invite if anyone here, um, if you don't know Jesus and you don't know, like you don't, you're scared of the future. You don't know what's going to happen. I, I just want to invite you to um, that relationship with him. I'm not Jesus, but like um, I can pave the like not pave the way, but like I can offer you this gift that um he's given me and um yeah he, he transforms lives he changes hearts and he's continuing to, to change me and um chisel me and yeah so if you would just like to re repeat a prayer after me to receive jesus to follow him wholeheartedly to to lay down your life and um follow after him and uh yeah so if you would like you can follow after repeat after me uh, a prayer um, yeah to receive Jesus and yeah <laughs> so you could just say Jesus I surrender my life I acknowledge that you are the Son of God I believe Jesus that you died and you rose again from the grave I ask that you would forgive all of my sins I thank you, Jesus, that you died for my sins and for my diseases. I ask you to take my life and use it for your glory. I receive you, Jesus, as my personal Lord and Savior, and I choose to follow you from this day forward. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And friend, if you prayed that prayer, um, the, Jesus, <laughs> he lives inside of you and you're sealed with the Holy Spirit. And I, I encourage you to get in the word, um, to, to read it, to get to know him, to, to get to know Jesus, to follow what, what it says, <laughs> obey what it says and, um, get into a Bible believing church. And yeah, so God bless you. <laughs>